tonight I'm at Give Kids the World Village. I'm so excited. I'm going to try and rally and get some thoughts together. Tonight I'm here to preview Night of a Million Lights. It is their holiday event. Like I'm kind of speechless. I, I kind of don't even know how to say like how amazing it looks. We're kind of having a moment getting to see the lights on. We've seen them um, during the day and uh, yeah, so this event is going to run. I will put um, all the information down below. Jim, look at the mushroom. <laughs> um, basically, there's going to be three and a half million lights. This event will benefit Give Kids the World, so it is um, good for this place. It's good for you. It's good for the community. I feel like it's just going to be. Um, an exciting night of joy and light and hopes and dreams if you come. <laughs> um, like, I'm a little emotional, it's so beautiful. <laughs> but um, I hope you'll get to come. I, I love that it's outdoors. It feels like the perfect event for this year. And I'm excited to show you what is already happening here. And a couple of things that me and Jim got to work on. Let's go look at things. Okay, we're in the hopping in place at Give Kids the World Village, which is a flex space that they can use for different events. And right now it's loaded with Christmas lights. This is where me and Jim have been uh, coming and getting our lights to string and prep for the event. And so I'll show you behind me, but right now, um, or behind Jim, Right now I'm getting to make one of these that will go on a big tree and I get to put my name on it and these are going to light up and be really pretty. I see a twinkling one over there. Like Nicole said, we've been coming here and so uh, we're working on some projects uh, like specifically for um, one of the areas they'll kind of give us a, a shopping list and say like we need this these lights and uh, so we can go here here are the red twinkle and kind of organized by what they are blue Blue, white, twinkle, yellow, twinkle, orange, orange, twinkle, and Nicole's favorite, pink, right back there. This is not even half of what used to be in this room. Something else that's been really fun about volunteering is you get to see the same people all the time, and we've made some friends like Peter. Hi, welcome. It's Peter. Hi. <laughs> the finished product. Ta -da. We just got here and kind of came in here and got started making one of those. Um, but what are you most excited to see tonight, Jim? I am most excited to see the houses around the lake. Oh, yeah. The so reflection. Don't yes. want to see the reflection there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is inside the town hall building, and this little room right here. I just want to show you real quick. It's not in use right now because the village isn't open, but. We go in here and do some stuff for the Christmas event and it's called the peppermint table because there are little peppermints in the table and they have tea parties here when the village is open on Sunday for the guests. They are still working on this event. It is far from being like fully decorated and it looks absolutely amazing. This is the gingerbread house which is like their cafeteria here. It's like a little restaurant. This is the town hall where they have event space and some of their office setting. It looks so awesome. Jim, do you want to show them what we did? Oh, yes. I was super excited to show this because the lighting designer was so nice and said I could decorate this however I wanted. And so I did twinkle leaves, pink flowers, and then me and Jim we just looked at how the techs were doing their like serious awesome lighting and tried to replicate it and we did all these little lines. It took us an entire day and I made this heart out of cardboard, vinyl, and shipping tape and zip lined it on here.
This place like is love to me. This place is the best of people. It is the best of people. That's yeah. the best way to say it. So I hope when you come here that you feel the love that's here. It is the most special place like of any place I've ever been. Some of the magic is happening right before our eyes. All right, hello everybody. So me and my friend Mayor Clayton set up this lovely socially distant setup just to show what we're gonna be doing at the Night of the Moon and Lights for all of our friends, just like Mayor Clayton, his bunny bride, Miss Mary, our friend Sprinkle, Murphy, the gingerbread man, and the big guy himself, Santa Claus, not you. That's right, Santa Claus. Santa Claus will be here as well to meet all of our children to make sure they know exactly what they'd like for Christmas if they made the nice list, like me. Like me. <laughs> okay, we'll work on it. I've got time, okay? It's only October. So Santa Claus will be here with, of course, a mailbox. He can make sure you can tell him exactly what you'd like at a nice, safe distance so he's nice and healthy for his big trip on Christmas Eve as well. So feel free to come on over and take a lovely socially distant selfie with our friend Mayor Clayton. He's been practicing. Let's show you some of those poses. Very nice. Show them your ho ho ho. Yes. There it is. <laughs> this town hall building that's propped up with these peppermint stick lollipops is always beautiful, but right now with all the lights on it, it just looks like a literal dream. This is the gingerbread house, which houses the little restaurant here at Give Kids the World, and it looks incredible. They have like a whole food court restaurant. And as you can see, they're still working on it. So you're gonna have to come see it yourself. But I just love the pink and purple. This building is like this all year round. And it just looks like it was always meant to be decorated with holiday lights. This event gives me major Osborne Spectacle of Dancing Lights vibes in a lot of ways because it's so many lights on such just incredible architecture. The lights don't dance. Um, they have it set up so basically you can walk through and you won't miss anything, um, which makes it a lot safer. And they have these glasses here that you can purchase. So I picked the star ones. Oh, it's angels! Oh, I got gems and it's actually angels. Let me show you. All right, you can kind of see the shapes on here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the farther it is, the better. Do you see them? I love it. Wow, when you wear them in person, it looks so fun and so awesome. It doesn't pick it up quite as well on here, but I love it. I call her the queen of Christmas lights. <laughs> there are, there are, I've worked with a lot of lighting designers who kind of frown on, down on Christmas lights, but Hillary embraces them and, and what I say is, she does with Christmas lights what an artist does with paint. She literally, she literally creates this, this, this painting that then the technical crew and I, what we do is we take her painting and we bring it to the real world. This is the movie theater I Give Kids the World. This building is called Amberville and they have Mark's Dino Putt over there. They have attractions here that are accessible and some will be open for Night of a Million Lights. This is one of the attractions that'll be open at the event. It's called Lori's Magical Flight. And you can ride on this in a wheelchair. You can use your arms to pedal. It's awesome. That ride, this ride right here that swings, and the iconic carousel will all be available for you to enjoy at this event. This is one of my favorite things here. Oh my gosh. And this one. <laughs> So these aren't even done yet. This looks so amazing in person. As amazing as this might look on camera, this is just one of those things you have to see in real life. Crayola chose to decorate this way. There's like a rainbow light up tree over there and the crayons are decorating. It's so cute. A lot of people are going to get to experience the village and make that connection. Um, once you come here, you just see it and you just understand. It's just hard to explain like how special and wonderful it is, how much they do for these families and how life-changing these trips can be for people. Um, these families coming together to just have fun and just spend time together and enjoy each other's company. 
um, and take a break from their challenging schedules that they might be um, receiving a lot of medical treatment or you know just the the struggle and the hardship that they're going through if you can I would say check out gktw.org slash volunteer they'll need volunteers for this event but also when the village reopens there are so many wonderful incredible things that you can do here to just make magic and help um, these children on their wish trips have this incredible experience. You can be part of that. I was supposed to come here a while ago to celebrate the opening of this. This is the new ice cream parlor here. That's kind of one of the things about Give Kids the World is the kids can have ice cream whenever they want. They can have ice cream for breakfast. And so they redid their ice cream parlor to celebrate the founder of Give Kids the World Village, Henry Landworth. And it is really beautiful. I love what they did. Hi, I'm Hillary. I'm the lighting designer for Night of a Million Lights, and I wanted to explain the wish tree to you. One great thing about Give Kids the World is that they have this beautiful castle where every child who comes here gets to put a star on the ceiling, and they've actually had to add to the building to get enough stars. So because not everyone's going to be able to go inside during a time of social distancing, I really wanted to mirror that feeling you get when you go into the castle out in the avenue. So what we did was we transformed this tree, this beautiful oak tree behind me, into the wish tree. So basically, it's the base color of Give Kids the World, the purple everybody loves, and then you're gonna be able to walk up to it during the event and press a button, and the tree is gonna to come to life with over 1,700 pixels that are gonna be twinkling to show just how many lives have been affected by Give Kids the World. We're up on Town Hall. We're on the balcony to get a look at everything that's up so far. So this is what they're working on right now. You can come see the finished thing. This has my heart right here. Okay, the other one I showed you was Jim's and now this is mine. I had these star glasses and it looks so amazing. It's awesome. Oh man, let me see if I can show you these down here. These are such a fun addition and you can buy them at the event. I think you can also make them an add-on with your tickets. I am ending the night where I began the night, which is right in front of Town Hall. There's so much going on over here. It's so beautiful. I was very overwhelmed by it all. Everything was just even better than I could have imagined once it was lit. So I hope that you'll come to this, this holiday season. It's so beautiful.